Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech where we need to tick forward a couple of days here. I think two is sufficient. So we'll go to, oh hello, unusual food or we will applaud Plato's generosity. Okay, so he's in high spirits. Wonderful. His mystery animal is in fact delicious. Perfect. One more day. Okay, so that's a lot of mech warriors coming back to duty, which is ideal. So we are now just going to try to push through a couple more of these. In fact, there's only two left of these really, really low difficulty missions. We're just going to try to push through them both in this same episode. And I think we're still going to be going for max salvage. We're doing fine on funding. Okay, so we need to have our Vulcan. We need to have, I'm going to put the stealth here. The Cronus here, and the Hunchy over here. Excellent. As far as our Fire Lance goes, I kind of want to uh, do something a little bit like this. And then we'll put, say, Showboat in the Blackjack, and then probably Rancher for now in the Panther. And then in this Lance, we're going to have, I think, Coach... Kraken in the Vulcan, Ulysses in the Stealth, and then Squire in the Hunchback, I think. Okay, that looks good. Yes, I'm aware of the Gladiator. We're just going to try to cruise through these missions nice and quickly. I'm hoping to get through both of them in this episode. But let's see how long the loading takes, because that is, to some degree, that's the major issue here. I do kind of wonder why it takes so long to load on this hardware, because it's being run off of an M.2 SSD. If it's CPU bound, I mean, my CPU shouldn't have an issue chewing through this. I guess it's just probably a threading issue more than anything. Maybe it's just a single threaded performance. But for now, we need to capture the logistics depot. We've been tracking the movement of several local government convoys, and that's allowed us to pinpoint their destinations. A hidden, well-defended logistics depot. This facility is a key supplier for local government forces in this region, and taking it from them will significantly damage their efforts against us. We'd like you to drop in, take the depot, and hold out against any enemy reinforcements. This should be straightforward. Move up, recon the depot, and then occupy it. Once we secure the area, the local pirate organization will send in their people to loot the place. Indeed. Let's go. So we just need to get up there ASAP. This is a map I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. What the hell? There's no garrison. Wait. We're getting something. Commander, it looks like the garrison was on patrol, and they're on the way back. Get ready for multiple contacts. Okay. Sounds good. Uh -huh. We're just going to advance for right now. Ten, four. That wasn't exactly where I wanted to be, but I guess it'll be fine. Confirmed. Okay, the stalker actually can't really go anywhere other than here. I guess the stalker is fine where it's at. The cooling mech is a happy mech. Okay. On my way. The Cronus is going to make its way up over this way. I got you. I kind of don't want to move too far away with the non-Fire Lance mechs. Like, we'll keep the Panther, the Stalker, the Blackjack, and the Gladiator pretty much where they're at. They were on patrol, but they came back in drop pods? Okay. I'm not sure I buy this, Darius. Well, we see a Hornet, we see a Panther, we see a Vulcan, we see a Locust. Nothing too spooky. We're going to utilize the Stalker here, and we're going to drop artillery on this Vulcan. Firing all weapons. Kaboom. Good thing we don't have to protect the base. <laughs> the Locust moves up, and we are going to probably... Close in on them a bit with the Cronus around over this way. We can't jump up with the Cronus. So we're going to have to go around. Okay. Yeah. The Gladiator needs to make its way over this direction. We're still going to have some issues with LOS, though. So, I mean, all things considered, this is a very awkward position for us to be in. Although they're... Grouped up a little bit over here. Waiting on you, 
That's okay, we've got the blackjack that's moving now. We're gonna continue to drop artillery on the Vulcan. And that was some really solid damage there. When I shoot you, you'll take it and light it, Commander. Okay, the Panther is going to do the same, right on that Vulcan. Nice. We're getting some great efficiency out of that. The Vulcan is, I think, going to jump up to right here, just to scout him out. And I think we fire on the Vulcan here, honestly. Or the Locust. We'll fire on the Locust. If we hit anything, that's going to do a million damage. At least eight damage, anyway. <laughs> okay, the Hunchy is going to have to try to figure out a way to get up. The switchback is very inefficient if we don't have jump jets, which we don't on the Hunchy, so it's going to be awkward to be sure. The Hornet moves up, the fire's on the Vulcan, it does nothing. That's absolutely fine. Okay, the stealth is not really in a position to do much of anything. We're going to move up and then we can jump next round. Okay. The Locust is making itself into a prime artillery target, is what it's doing. That's fine. What do you need? Now the Gladiator, once again, anything direct fire here is really going to struggle on this map. So we're just going to make our way around. We're probably not going to need it. Yes, Commander. The Hunchy... Is going to make its way over here. The Cronus is going to make its way... It can't go this way at all? We can't follow this road? I'm confused. Okay, I guess we're just going to back off. And I don't know why. <laughs> very strange. Regardless, the Stalker is going to be able to just drop artillery right here and be very efficient. We're not going to fire the ER large. Two kills, one shot. I like it. Can we finish off the Hornet too? Maybe. That's a knockdown on the Hornet. Okay. Standing by. Excellent. I think we just close in with the Vulcan here and finish off the Hornet. Confirmed. That's a dead Hornet. That should also get us our Occupy the Depot, so all we need to kill is this Panther. Good to go. The Stealth can't quite make it up. We're going to sprint over this way, and then next round we'll jump to there if we can. Panther moves in, fires on the Vulcan, does literally nothing. Okay. I'm here. Our Panther can attack their Panther. All right. We do four damage. Oh, more than four damage. We do a little damage. The Stalker is going to drop arrow fours. That's a lot of damage to that guy. Yep. I mean, the Gladiator really can't do anything. LOSOP. What can I do for you? Blackjack, on the other hand, this could theoretically be a kill. It's unlikely, Good. but it could theoretically be. Yeah, it did not happen. That's a knockdown on that Panther, though. Which pretty much means the Vulcan and or Stealth yeah. can get in there. And, oh, that's not in LOS. Yeah, for whatever reason, we can't pass through here, but we can jump over it. Awkward. I wish this was in LOS over here. I really, really do. But alas, it is not. And that's not either. There's just so many buildings and such around. Okay. The Cronus is irrelevant and can't do anything. The Vulcan, on the other hand, well, we're just going to close right in and go for the kill shot here. 
And there we go. Fantastic. Let's get out of here. I don't think we took any damage. I think we took literally zero damage from that one. Well, we'll just let it load up a little bit here. Oh, and apparently mute it because I tabbed out. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure we took literally no damage. I kind of want to get roulettes there. So we'll grab the ERPPC. How many of those do we currently have in stock? Only one. Good to know. Engine Core 240. We're definitely grabbing that. I don't care about any of those heat sinks. Honestly, I don't care about any of this. Except for maybe the Vulcan parts. We could actually guarantee a Vulcan. And then I hope that we get Case out of the roulette. Or we could get two out of the three that we need. Roll three times on a Vulcan and take the Case instead. Our odds are better this way. We didn't get the full Vulcan. That's okay. We don't really need the full Vulcan. It would just be nice to have around as a just-in-case sort of thing. <laughs> just-in-case. I like it. I'm pretty sure we took literally zero damage, though, so I think that Yang isn't even going to give us an estimate. I'm like 90% sure that we took zero damage. I didn't notice any if we took any damage. Yep, literally none. Okay, do we need to tick forward at all for mech warrior purposes? Yes, we do. How much do we need to tick forward? We could tick forward three days to get the Raven done. We're going to do one. We're going to do two and three. Excellent. Now I want to feel out how the Raven goes, so we're going to deploy again on this battle here. And this is not two priority salvage. We're doing fine on cash, honestly. Let's just take the salvage. I want to swap out the Hunchy for the Raven here. Now the Raven is a lot lighter, but this should give us some interesting options for our artillery spotting. And the Raven should be more able to maneuver than the Hunchy. The Hunchy is often unable to maneuver. So I think we're going to put Goldfinch in the Panther. And then we're going to put, say, Devourer in the Blackjack. Perhaps Safety in the Cronus. Warbore in the Stalker. And then we're going to have to use some Tired Pilots. For some of these others, which I'm not hugely in favor of doing, but I also don't want to tick forward anymore. So I think we'll do something like this. This shouldn't be a difficult battle for us anyway. But I want to feel out the Raven and see just how that ends up making our Fire Lance feel. The C3 suite on its own should be a pretty big deal for our ERPPCs. And the tag should tremendously help our artillery, if I'm understanding it correctly. Plus, the mech itself, as long as it stays moving, should be reasonable. So we need to destroy enemy units. A Lance of Pirate Battle Max has been rampaging in Capellan territory on Castrovia. They've been raising population centers, burning fields, refineries, looting storage facilities. They're clearly doing everything they can think of to drive our people out. This is terrorism, pure and simple. We need you to find them and destroy them. No escape and no prisoners. Not much to say, Commander. Shoot to kill. Indeed. I don't see any allies. That was awkward. Put our blackjack down here. I'm not sure if the blackjack can make its way up this at all. That's okay, though. The blackjack doesn't need to be anywhere particularly useful. Okay. Let's see how fast this raven is reasonably fast. Okay. Roger that, Commander. Copy that. We'll see if the Blackjack can make his way up. I doubt it, honestly. Okay. 
This should get us a sensor trace, I hope. Don't need to tell me twice. Get the raven up over here. Position confirmed. That's not a sensor trace. Oh, they're all the way up there. Okay. No problem. All yeah, the blackjack has no way to get up. We're just going to leave the blackjack over here. It should be able to still fire its artillery without a problem. Okay, that's the sensor. We see a vehicle. Okay. So the stalker, I kind of want to have fire on the copperhead here. Just get some preemptive damage down. That's a structure exposure. Okay. I'll have the gladiator come up to here, and the blackjack is also going to hit this same copperhead. We might be able to get a kill here with that structure exposure. Although we're, that was not good aim. Fair enough. I mean, that blackjack is way out there. Commander. Okay, we're going to move up with the stealth here. Just as close as we can. We do see that trebuchet over there, but I want this copperhead dead, and this is likely a kill. There we go. 25% done. That vehicle is one for the junkyard. Okay. The Raven can make its way up over this direction, and we are going to sprint it. Something like that. Get this thing ECM jammed. We do see a recon vehicle over there. That's fine. What can I do for you? We're going to move up with the Vulcan. We're probably going to pot shot this. Yeah, extremely unlikely to hit. Didn't expect to hit. Sounds good. Yes, indeed. Okay, the gladiator. We could actually take a pot shot from where we are. And these are halfway reasonable odds. We may get a hit here. Ah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. And the blackjack. We'll just drop some artillery here. Okay, minor damage there. Waiting for orders. The Cronus is going to sprint up as close as it can. Let's go. But the Battle Lance is going to have a bit of a hard time closing here. This is going to be a very long-range engagement, I think. That trebuchet moves forward. Fires on the Raven. Does a whole lot of nothing. That's pretty much what we expect out of this situation. Receiving you. The Stalker... Might have something to say about this, though. And it does. It absolutely has something to say about that. That's an LRM ammo explosion. That did a lot to this trebuchet, actually. What are your orders, like, a whole lot. Let's continue hitting it. See if we can get a knock down there. There we go. Perfect. Now, there's still another unit out there that we don't know about. There it is. It's a Saladin. Okay. Good to know. I will be done. We're going to cruise in with our stealth. As close as we possibly can here. And we're going to light this guy up. This is likely a kill. Firing. And there we go. Fantastic. One less target. Okay. The raven is going to make its way up over this direction. I kind of want to park it up here. That's only three evasive pips. We're going to park it here instead. Okay. Now the gladiator isn't in position to fire on anything right now, including this rotunda, which I was hoping that it was. But we're just going to have to allow them to... Uh, allow them to close in a little bit, and we'll just park in this basin and see if we can bait them in. Uh, that's a little bit of a close-in, I guess. Do we hit the Rotunda or the Saladin? The Saladin has an AC-20, and that has an energy weapon. We definitely hit the Saladin. Okay. Standing by. The Stalker is also going to hit the Saladin. This is likely a kill, actually. With that structure exposure. There we go. One dead Saladin. One for the Indeed. 
Uh, the Cronus is just going to dip down over here. There's not a whole lot that it can do right now. This is such a long-range engagement. Excellent. Okay, the stealth, again, is in a situation where it can't do too much, other than attempt to bait them in, I guess. That's about the best we can do. We'll move up with the Cronus. Same purpose. And the Vulcan, as well. Only one evasive pip to go there. And then the Raven, we could move up over this direction, potentially get into the water. There's flames on the way, but we don't care. And we'll see if we can tag this guy. It's a structure exposure, and it is indeed tagged. The Gladiator now has eyes on with that C3. And that's a kill. Wonderful. Mission successful. We are really cruising through those missions. I'm liking that. We have found a system that works, at least for now, and we will continue doing it until it doesn't work. But we're going to start getting into some more difficult things quite soon. Did we take any damage that time either? I don't think we did. I think we definitely grabbed the AC-20 Federated. Maybe the the trebuchet parts? We could get ourselves a trebuchet. Actually, we could guarantee ourselves a trebuchet. Which could which could replace and upgrade the Panther. We could have it be a bit of a missile boat. I'd love to get that that Bloodhound probe. Let's see if we get it. I don't think we did. Oh, we did. Wonderful. Okay, we can sell both of these engine cores, these sensors, standard heat sinks, standard fusion engine, that is fine. AC-20 safe ammo, though, we're keeping that. Half a ton of machine gun ammo we can sell, and infernal SRM ammo, we'll keep that just in case. Excellent. So that gets us a trebuchet. Did that thing... I just had a dumb idea. Did that trebuchet have a ballistic hardpoint? This is a really dumb idea. <laughs> I think it had an energy hardpoint. No, it had three energy hardpoints. I think it had a ballistic? Let's check. Uh, let's see here. It would be a medium... And where is that trebuchet? Here it is. 5N. No ballistic hardpoint. Okay. Good to know. We're going to ready this mech. And this is going to be a replacement for the Panther. So we're going to refit this. With what? Well, I still want it to be pretty much a uh, direct fire fire support. We can ditch this engine core 250. That is not going to be... Like, that is way more engine than we need for this. I'm thinking that we go for something like an engine core 150. Nice and slow. <laughs> Excellent. We're going to need a standard fusion engine in here. And uh, we'll just go into here for that. So, standard fusion engine is in here somewhere. We'll also need standard heatsink cooling. Okay, so we have 25 tons to work with. We actually can ditch this LRM ammo and this medium laser for now. And then we can max that armor. That gives us 21.437 armor, or tons to work with, rather. We can potentially make that a little bit better by going to ferrofibrous armor. Okay, I'm not sure that's worthwhile, but we'll think about it. If we need the hard points, we need the hard points. Let's see, our missile hard points are here and here. Hmm. Thunderbolts fire a single missile. Does 75 damage. 
This is a Thunderbolt 15, and this is just a Thunderbolt. Oh, this is a one-shot. This would require Thunderbolt 15 ammo. We only have the single T-Bolt. There's also ATMs here. Do we have ATM ammo? And what's the range of this? Optimal is 300 meters. I'd like longer. Max is 720. If we compare that to an LRM 20, that's a longer range. Okay. So, do we need any additional heat sinks on this? There are four free heat sinks that we can put on here. Okay. So, we can put on heat sinks, say, in the center, in the head, and perhaps one over here. Our heat efficiency is fine for right now. So we could theoretically put on a pair of LRM-20 Teloses. That is plus one accuracy and plus 10% chance to be shot down by AMS. Oh, right. We need to have that be over here. Now, LRM-20s are kind of mediocre. But I don't think that these... I think that these Thunderbolts don't do splash damage is the thing. I'm pretty sure that they don't do splash damage. I could be wrong about that. But if we look at the thumpers here... Yeah, deals damage to a ground area. So I'm pretty sure it doesn't do that. So then we could have ourselves... About three tons of LRM ammo, and uh, we don't really want Thunders. We could go for Swarm to make that be an AoE. Now, we only have a ton and a half of Swarm ammo available. Is there any in the store? There's ATM ammo. Artemis 4 ammo. That's, of course, not Arrow 4s. We could go for Artemis 4. It does require an Artemis 4 TTS, but I believe we have one of those. Do we have Artemis 4 ammo? I believe we do. Yeah, we have 4. So we could do... Requires Artemis 4 system. Yeah, I know. I was going to put that on. So the Artemis 4 system is like this one. That does weigh two tons. And it takes a slot. Okay. I think we can make this work. So here's what I'm thinking. Four tons of Artemis 4 ammo. One, two, three, and four. Now that does put us two tons overweight. That's fine. We have the RC Artemis IV FCS, so that's good. We may want to go with a sensor on here. Something like perhaps a sensor's range. We don't care about the minimum range on that. We are two tons overweight, so we would probably want endosteel structure, and that gives us a few slots to work with, but that also puts us just over our tonnage requirement. Excellent. We could also, in theory, drop down a tiny bit of armor, perhaps in this arm, which doesn't contain anything, to put us up at a half ton, which would allow us to mount a small laser as a backup weapon. If we're using this small laser, something has gone catastrophically wrong. Okay. Do we not have a gyro on this? 
Uh, this is just a regular gyro, I believe. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that trebuchet is in progress with Artemis IV missiles. Fantastic. And with that, I'm going to put a cut in here, and next episode, we are going to start doing some of the more difficult missions that are in this generation. Wonderful. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.